Throughout the year, we were constantly assessing their staying power and considering multiple scenarios. Even the most pessimistic uh, assessments did not predict that government forces in Kabul would collapse while U.S. forces remained. There's no evidence that staying longer would have made the Afghan security forces or the Afghan government any more resilient or self-sustaining. If 20 years and hundreds of billions of dollars in support, equipment, and training did not suffice, why would another year, another five, another 10? By January 2021, the Taliban was in the strongest military position it had been in since 9-11. And we have the smallest number of troops on the ground since 2001. As a result, upon taking office, President Biden immediately faced the choice between ending the war or escalating it. Had he not followed through on his predecessor's commitment, attacks on our forces and those of our allies would have resumed and the Taliban's nationwide assaults on Afghanistan's major cities would have commenced. <laughs>